I want to share with you how I use memory techniques in my daily life, but I'm more interested in how you use memory techniques in your daily life. So leave me a comment down below that tells me how. Now, the simplest way I use memory techniques is by memorizing a grocery list or a shopping list. That's it. So I just think about what I need to buy, make a quick story, boom, go to the store. Now, I guess one level up is memorizing like a recipe of some sort. But I usually don't do this because I find it's easier just to look at the recipe because I don't make the recipes I make at one time, multiple times throughout the month or even year. I might make a one time only. And so it really doesn't make sense to me <laughs> to memorize it for a one time use and then probably forget it because I never review it. So at times I might memorize a recipe if I'm really inclined to use that recipe consistently, maybe like once or twice a month. But besides that, I don't. So a grocery list is probably the most fundamental way I use memory techniques. Now, one step up from that is memorizing names. So it takes a little bit more effort, right? Um, but names is one thing I memorize all the time when I meet people. So this is one um, skill I definitely need to develop because I'm constantly meeting people and I feel bad when I don't remember their name because I'm like, oh crap, you know, I'm supposed to be this memory champion, grandmaster of memory, and I can't remember this person's name. Wow, I suck. So um, <laughs> memorizing names is another way I use memory techniques in my daily life. And I guess the last one, there's like only three, really. Um, probably memorizing biographies, but nothing this complex, you know, nothing this lengthy. Maybe a sport they like, favorite animal, uh, favorite food, something like that. Not this much information about every single person. That's just way too much. And so I do, mem I do memorize some biographies depending on if I'm meeting someone specifically, like if it's on a date, I like to have... I guess like a bio on them just in case I need to bring stuff up or do something that they would like to do, you know, set the, set the date up like that. But besides that, um, favorite animal, <laughs> food, a sport they like, and maybe um, something unique about them. And that's pretty much it. I don't need to memorize people's pets or cars or anything like that. And so I think this is pretty much the extent of how I use memory techniques on a daily basis. Now, I do read but I don't use memory techniques to, to memorize all the stuff I read in the book. I just kind of learn it as I read through the material and that's it. And whatever six sticks and so on. Um, and so even when I work out, I don't even use memory techniques to memorize the workouts, which would be so useful, which I should do. But um, when I do forget a workout or don't know how to do an exercise at the current gym I'm at, I think about, okay, what, Exercises, exercises have I done and just and then just kind of just find one and put it in for the workout. That's it. So it's not really a memory technique I'm using. I'm just kind of remembering the things I've done in the past. But I swear this is pretty much it. A list, some names, and some uh, biography stuff. And that's it. I really don't use memory techniques as often as I would like to in my daily life. Now, of course, when I train for a competition, I guess if you say that's daily, I guess we could kind of say memory competition stuff, but beyond that, uh, it's not really something I can consistently use in my daily life. Now, when I'm trying to learn like a project or something like countries and capitals, something like that, I use memory techniques, but, but that's not every single day, you know, or even most of the days. And so, yeah, I feel kind of maybe embarrassed and sad that I don't use memory techniques more. So I would love to hear how you use memory techniques because maybe you use them in a way I'm not aware of or I never thought about and so I can start using more memory techniques in my daily life because I think there are more ways to use it but maybe just because of what I face in my daily life I just don't need to use a lot of memory techniques I don't know maybe I should be doing more stuff who knows but definitely let me know how you use memory techniques in your life and leave it down below I would love to hear about it and talk to you about it as well so hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time